Hey friends and welcome back to Delicious Kitchen. It's your girl D. Today I'll be making some Berida inspired chicken tacos. Right here I am prepping my vegetables for roasting. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper. This is my very first time making these tacos and I think they turned out absolutely delicious. They're definitely going to be in regular rotation from now on. So right here, I'm just going to put them in my air fryer at 325 for 15 minutes, then crank up the heat to 400 for an additional 10 minutes. I'm going to clean and soak my ancho chilies. I took all of the seeds out, all that good stuff off camera. Right here, I'm just soaking it in some very, very, very hot water. All right, then I proceeded to shred my Oaxaca cheese. And I just love when you when I shred my own cheese. I think it makes the meal taste better. I don't know, that pre-shredded cheese, even though it's so convenient, but I don't think, you know, it gives the meal what it needs to have. Right here, I'm just shredding my cheese. There you go, nicely shredded. Okay, once that's all done, I'm going to go check my roasted vegetables. And voila, look at that. And might I tell you, the aroma that was coming from these vegetables was absolutely delightful. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and place them in my blender to prepare them to be blended. <laughs> Okay, I guess this would be a good time to let you know what I've roasted here. I've roasted some onions, one jalapeno, tomato, some garlic, red peppers, red bell peppers. And that is my roasted garlic. I absolutely love roasted garlic. If you haven't tried roasted garlic, you are missing out. I can pop that garlic like candy it's so delicious and it's not strong and pungent like the fresh garlic mm, delicious okay and here are those ancho chilies now i did not put all of those ancho chilies into my blended mixture because they have a tiny bit of heat and i do have a child that is sensitive to spice so i just used a little bit but that flavor mm, it added some beautiful flavor Okay, so here's my blended mixture. I didn't have to strain anything because my blender blended it so smooth. I did not have to strain anything. Right there is my cilantro, onions, tomato, and lime. And right here, I am going to brown. I'm browning my beautifully seasoned chicken breast. This was seasoned with cumin, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, uh, white pepper, all of that delicious goodness. And I also seasoned the sauce with those same spices. And right there, I'm just adding two bay leaves and one cinnamon stick. I'm gonna cover it and allow it to simmer for approximately 30 minutes or so. And then you're gonna go ahead and proceed to shred your chicken into nice shredded pieces. I just simply use the fork and a tongs. <laughs> There's so many other instruments that you could use, but I use what I had available. Right here is the finished product. It's nicely shredded, and I'm gonna continue to allow it to simmer in that beautifully delicious sauce. Unfortunately, I don't have an exact measurement for this recipe, but hopefully you kind of get the gist and you can kind of wing it and make, make it your own. I'm just giving you an idea. So here is some of the sauce that I had saved. I'm gonna go ahead and dip my flour tortillas into that sauce. And then I'm just gonna place my chicken, some cheese, and fold it and allow it to grill and get some nice color on it. And that's pretty much it. Let it grill until your heart's desired, until you get the color that you want, and that's it. So with me, cooking is pretty much just instinctual. I Sometimes I follow recipes. If I'm baking, I'll follow a recipe, but I usually do not follow recipes. I will spin my own touch to it. So there you have my take on Betty inspired chicken tacos. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.